Hello, Facebook, YouTube, the day of Satil, our angel, God is our prayer. Nope, not Thor, he's a false god, clearly acknowledging false gods on God's days. All right, tomorrow, tomorrow, y'all, tomorrow is the first day of Adar. Very powerful Jewish uh, month, Jewish month on the calendar. Um, very powerful month. That's this month is the proceeding of really the Exodus. You know, is you know concerning the uh, ten plagues and stuff like that. Everything proceeded in Adar and also the uh, uh, Queen Esther. You know, um, saving the Jewish people from annihilation happens in this, and Purim is what they celebrate. You know, this is a very important time that God sees in Purim. God's, uh, this is God's um, uh, season, you know, uh, that he does, that he, he it, I mean, well, God's month that leads to the miracles of, you know, Nissan. Nissan's where all the miracles happen, you know, part in the Red Sea. And of course, we know for us, Jesus Christ, uh, died on the cross and resurrected, all happened in Nisan. But Adar is the preparation of that month. Very important for God's time. When God sends a super blood, blue, super blue blood moon out there, that means he said he's going to do something in his season, not in your season. I know y'all preachers, teacher, oh, this is your season. This No, you didn't create any seasons. Sorry, you wasn't creating any seasons in the beginning. God created seasons and he's going to do things in his season the way he do it, the way he wanted, and you roll with it. But that's another message. But the topic of this message is very important. Very important to understand this as to understand people and understand the kind of person maybe you are. Maybe, maybe not. But everybody needs a self-evaluation but it's called uh, the reality of uh individual ignorance um it's amazing i see this uh a lot uh i was i wanted to uh god gave me this message a while back uh but i was you know did the love thing you know but I was looking at it because I think, you know, I, hanging at a bar is an interesting place to hang out that you get. I, I see people and how they respond to things. It's just uh, interesting. But let me tell you about what's up, uh, Adrian. Uh, let me uh, tell you about this idea because, see, individual ignorance is an idea that, as you know, that we are um, uh uh, 23 chromosomes are inside of us that makes up the individual that we are, you know, that we have got from our mother, our father, and our mother. And what happens is, you know, uh, when information that associates with those chromosomes get inside, uh, I mean, well, uh, uh, be, we are influenced by, more likely, um, it, it, it creates this, uh, confidence, uh, pretty much, uh, this self-confidence because it agrees with what's with inside you. And because it, because it just, it just agrees with what inside you, you deem this ideal to be right. You deem this ideal to, uh, be something that is meaningful concerning you. And what happens is you believe it so much that you're willing to ignore all the other information that come about you, you know, and say, no, I, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I, I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm all about. I know I, I, I know. See, I individual and I don't need to hear that or what you got to say. I don't need to hear you what you got to say, I know, I know, I know. And people have this. I mean, it's it, it happens to a lot of people 
that they develop this um inside them, you know, some for some people prematurely because they just, you know, respond like everybody's going to respond to what's inside them, you know. And, you know, and in in having this, people start making foolish decisions surprisingly, you know. <laughs> Foolish decisions of how they uh, misinterpret people concerning how people treat them or approach them or, you know, or whatever you're doing in life or you're trying to uh, become something in life, how you go about handling and, and communicating with people because you only so you only about the the information that associates with you. You're not trying to hear about any other ways of trying to do things a certain way. You just, you know, focus on your information, you know? And people are like that these days. And unfortunately, that kind of uh, condition will lead to terrible, lead, it, will lead, it will lead to you to develop a terrible mindset, you know? And that's, you know, kind of like the ideal of the carnal mind. The car as what it says, Romans 8 and 6. You know, to be carnal minded is death. And the thing is, in the carnal mind is about a mindset that is based upon whatever knowledge that not just you receive, but the ones that you like or you love to believe. You because you love to believe this and you you know you deem this information to be writer than everybody else's. Your, your information is more writer than your, everybody else's. Or the ideal of Second Corinthians ten that talks about the stronghold that this stronghold that people develop it says that it will exalt their knowledge higher than God. Could you believe that people can have the capability to believe to a certain extent to a, 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 a their knowledge because they know it and it they it resonate to them concerning the individual they are they can exalt their knowledge higher than the one that created them interesting but uh yes uh that is a direction of a fool um you know and the thing is when it's interesting i i think i had a conversation with somebody and it's how they, you know, sinners, they like to talk about within of what they know. You know what I'm saying? And they trying to get people uh, uh, to convince people that what they know is a, a great high idea of, of looking at things. Their, their ideal is yes. Oh, it's a pretty smart way of thinking, you know. Uh, yeah, I had this conversation with a lady at a laundromat. <laughs> Interesting. Um, and she had that. She was like, you know, well, I know this about that. And, you know, this is what I know about that. And, you know, she kind of probably motivated me to do this. But I'm like trying to present information that she she's not, no, maybe not known about. And... It's like she wasn't trying to talk about the information that I gave her. She was trying to talk about the information she know more. And it's like when you do talk about your own information, you're not trying to question beyond information that can be unknown to you. And a lot of people do that too many times and not aware of it. You, When you have a conversation with someone, if you truly want to establish good dialogue of of reasoning to understand both people, both of our points, you should question what they present to you. You you shouldn't be like, you know, trying to be about convincing the other individual how they strongly believe this ideal is right and strongly believe this information is uh, close to the truth, but they will, you know, in their mindset, it's true to them, you know? Um, you you should question people with what they present in conversation to uh to make them probably see what they're thinking and understand that there are more information out there in the universe 
uh, beyond you, <laughs> you know. And it's the thing is, it's kind of like you know, I tell people, uh, you you cannot, we cannot technically, in reality, deem something that is right, you know, concerning ourselves because we are a product of a creation. You know what I'm saying? We are a product. You know what I'm saying? We were produced at our mother's womb. We are here in a position to explore, to try to find out things. You know what I'm saying? God, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We weren't, we, we wasn't there in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? We popped up in the sixth day that, you know, he decided, let us make men in our own image. You know, that people need to understand that they cannot uh, ignore other information that is given to them. They should question, question to see maybe it's right or maybe it's wrong, uh, you know, to be that mindful, to, that you could have a desire to be mindful and acknowledge uh, certain things that maybe you don't know about, <laughs> you know, but don't ignore everybody's information. Question everybody's information is what I'm hopefully motivating people that you don't create this individual ignorance that you think that you as an individual obtain the knowledge that, you know, is greater than anything and ignore everybody else's knowledge and don't want to hear their knowledge because you're so caught up in what associates with you concerning your chromosomes and your DNA of the makeup of the mother and father that produced you in this world that you got to understand that, you know, God is the creator and God knows all things because he created all things. And guess what? You're not that person. All right. That's the message. I hope you get it. And I hope you understand. Don't have individual ignorance. Question all things to understand all things and ask your creator what is created to serve a purpose in this world. Because God will not put anything in this world that won't serve a purpose. You know what I'm saying? Everything serves a purpose. All right, that's the message. God be the glory of him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.